Hey guys, this video is going to go on our interviews playlist and we'll share those interviews in a moment. Just a quick introduction first. As far as bullying is concerned in Japan, we occasionally see it in the media. Not real often, but occasionally, and only if it's something extreme. So, a few years ago, one of the members of the royal family, a young princess from the royal family who was going to a very exclusive school in Tokyo, was subjected to a little bit of bullying, and or some bullying, don't know how much bullying, and as a result of that, it made it into the media, and then bullying became talked about a little bit in the media for a short period of time. Uh, more recently, we had a situation where that was reported in the media where a teacher had ordered a student to jump off a second floor balcony at a school in Japan, and the student had done it. The student had jumped off the second floor balcony and some damage to one leg or something like that. So that's the sort of thing that we, we see in the media is just extreme examples. And of course, in a lot of countries now, bullying's a real thing that, that the media tends to stay on top of and schools and other places tend to stay on top of to, to make sure that people are educated about how to avoid bullying and what to do if they're bullied and all that sort of thing. So it's a bit of a thing, isn't it, in a lot of, a lot of countries now. However, in Japan, we very rarely hear it hear it talked about so that that would be the only time we see it in the media would be if it's something extreme like that um, or occasionally occasionally someone will suicide from bullying but that is actually something that's not really an unusual thing here so we don't sort of see much of it it's it's sort of it's sort of difficult because what the what what is perceived as bullying here because of the way society works Everybody has people above them and below them. It's sort of like nobody's equal here. Everybody's a, uh, a higher friend or a lower friend or a senior co-worker or a junior co-worker and everybody's on the tier. And what we see a lot, what we see a lot with families that we know and the neighbours and people around us is that the way that works with older brothers and younger brothers and older brothers and younger sisters, older sisters, younger brothers, and then the school friends, the school kids, and kids in the playground, and, and that sort of thing. What we do see a lot is that the senpai ko kohei thing is what they call it, where the older ones are telling the younger ones what to do. And that's the way Japanese society works. I mean, you guys have recognized that from lots of our other videos, is that that's the way Japanese society works, is the people above tell the people below what to do and how to do it, and they do it, hi, and they do it. So, what we see sometimes as a result of that is you do get some, some senpai, because it's sort of like giving kids power, you know, so you do get sometimes see kids being pretty harsh on, on kids that are junior to them, the kids that are younger to them, or in a lower grade at school or something like that. We do see a bit of that sometimes, where it's somebody speaking harshly to someone below them, or someone's sort of pushing them around a little bit or something like that. And what we see is that the teachers and the parents usually don't get involved. Because the way it's seen in Japanese society is that sort of behavior is what keeps everything the way it should be. That, that keeps what everybody doing what they're supposed to be doing. That if they don't do what they're supposed to be doing, the people above them will tell them to do what they're supposed to be doing. And so quite often you'll see that. You'll see kids telling other kids what to do. And sometimes being a bit sort of what, what would be considered bullying in some countries and, and the parents or the, the adults that are around will just sort of not get involved, they'll just stay out of it, let them do it. And we've seen that with, with school kids, groups of school kids and the, the, the kids will be telling each other what to do and the teacher just just doesn't get involved, just lets it happen. And it's sort of, it's sort of like the teachers and their parents are quite happy to allow that to happen and it just sort of helps keep everything functioning without them getting involved, you know what I mean? So it's, yeah, it's different, it is different. And to Japanese people, they'll tell you it's normal. I like all this stuff, they'll tell you it's normal. Ah, it's normal, it's normal. And to people from some other cultures, sometimes it can make you sort of, sort of bite your tongue a bit sometimes, because it's like, uh, you know, I'm a bit uncomfortable with the way that kid's treating that kid or the way that person's treating that person or, um, you know, sometimes it can be a bit like that. So, that's the outsider's perspective. So, of course, with our 
with our interview videos, the idea of our interview videos is to find out the Japanese person's perspective. So what we do is we ask Japanese people we know who's, whose English is up to being interviewed in English to give us their perspective. So what we did for this one was we found some students ranging from elementary school students to a university student um, and asked them a little bit about it to see if, what their experiences of it were. So anyway, please have a look at this. Okay, tell me, what is Ijime? Mm? I don't know. I don't know. Really? Yes. It's Ijime? Yes. I don't know. Really? Yes. It was bullying. Hmm? Bullying Ijime. I don't know. Really? Yes. Ijime. Yes. So, so if some people are ah. not kind to someone, ah. do you know? Ah. Yes. Okay. Tell me. Tell me what what is it? Hmm? What is it? Mm, so tell me. Tell me example. Example of Ijime. Eh? I don't know. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. Have you seen it? Have no. you seen it? Mitsuko No. No. Really? Yeah. Kitsuko Taru. No. No? Okay. Did your teacher tell you about it? No. Really? Sometimes. Sometimes. What? What did they say? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> really? It's true. Yes. It's true. Yes. Okay. So you don't see it. What about what about a kibushi senpai? Have you had a kibushi senpai? No. No. Really? No. No. Really? No. Nothing. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Can you tell me? Can you tell me what is? What do you think is the meaning of ijime? Ijime is um, love people is um, what's kogeki. Um, not fighting. <laughs> fighting? Fighting to one people. Okay. And have have you seen Ijime? In no. in English we call it bullying. Bull bullying, yeah. So so lots of people are bullying another person. So have you seen Ijime? Have you seen no. it? In elementary school did you see it? No. No. And and junior high school have no. you seen it? And have you heard have you heard people speaking about it? So did your teachers talk to you about it, or have you seen it oh, on no. television? No. Okay. Have you seen it on television? No. Okay. Okay. So you haven't you haven't teachers haven't talked about it, and you haven't yeah, seen it yeah. on television. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what are some examples of EG Man? Uh. People um, complain a person they hate or um, by Have you have you ever seen any examples of each human? Yes. Uh, yes. Um, example. Uh, There is a girl, uh, they, um, everyone um, hate her, um, so they, um, they gather without her. So they exclude her. 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. Why? Why do they hate her? Do you think? Um. Maybe nothing. Me. Okay. Okay. So no real reason. Okay. Yeah, no reason. Okay. Can you think of any? Is there any other examples you have seen of Ijime? Um. No. No. Uh, yeah. Have you seen violence? Do you think they didn't like her, or do you think they did like her? Is that why they did it? Why do you think they did it? Me? Yeah. Why do you think the boy hit her? Do you think he liked her, or he didn't like her? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, I didn't hate her. Okay. Yeah. He didn't. Yeah, so the boy, the boy who did the violence, do you think, do you think he liked her or didn't like her? I don't like her. Like. You think he didn't like her? Oh, okay. Okay. Do you have any other examples? I can't remember. Have, have they talked about it at school? Have the teachers talked to you about, in English we call it bullying. Bullying, Ijime. Bullying. Have the teachers talked about it to the classes and said? No. no? Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, what what does Ijime mean? Ijime. <laughs> what does it mean? What? For, um, in my image is uh, ignore other people. Okay. Ignore them. Them, yeah. Okay. It, can you think of other examples of Ijime that you have seen? Uh, for example, um, Mm, for example, so high school class is so uh, maybe so separate group for people, six people, for my friend, friend, together talking with friend, so a uh, free time, so Ijime is so one person is separate so um, other people together four people, six people, eight people but one people is separate only one So one person is alone? I am alone Right Okay can you think of other examples of Ijime that you've seen? Mm. So, <laughs> in my image is so TV drama. <laughs> okay, tell me, please tell me. Um, so, I watched the, watched the TV. Um, um, hide. So item, so 
shoes or notebook or bag. Hi, hi, hi. So anywhere. So, or was that school students in that drama? Was that school yeah, students? Yeah, school students. So they were hiding one person's shoes or things so they couldn't find them. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Have you seen anything like that at school when you were at school? Did you mm -hmm. see anything like that? No, okay. So what what do you think of Ijime? What's your feelings about Ijime? Mm -hmm. Eh? Feeling bad? Yeah, what do you think? What do you think about it, Jimmy? Ah, uh, I think... So... I... Don't have... I mean, the school don't... Schools don't have... Isme, so don't don't isme in so other peoples so then ah uh, um the isme is little small. So then, TV dramas image. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, in my school, it's not easy, man. Okay. Okay. So, um, maybe so much. Okay. No, not so much. That's interesting. So you think, you think that in drama there is lots of easy, man, but, but in real life at school. Not so much. Yeah. That's interesting. And at school, did they talk about it? Did teachers talk to you about Ijime or was it something? Um, mm, so maybe once a year. Mm. So, so the school go enquête, do, do enquête. So, so the school have. Do you have Ijime in class? The, the enquête? So enquête? I, enquête. Enquête paper. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Question. Que question. Que questionnaire. Oh, yeah. A questionnaire. So they give you a paper with lots of questions and yeah. you answer the questions. Yeah. Did you have to put your name on that paper? No. No. So anonymous. Yeah. Anonymous questionnaire. Ooh. <laughs> so anonymous questionnaire so you can write the information secretly, mm. secretly and then the teacher can read it. Yeah. Okay. So the questions were, have you seen Ijime? Any other questions on there? Mm. So about Ijime's question, mm. so if I check, yes. So the continue question, but so if I check no, so not continue. Well, that's question. interesting. That's very interesting. Mm. Hmm. Very good. What about elementary school? At elementary school, did you see Ijime there? No. No. Okay. Very good. Do you know what Ijime is in English? English? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Bullying. Bullying. Ah! I know. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, there it was. That's, that's the Japanese perspective on the thing, or the perspective of those people on the thing anyway. So it's a bit of a cross-section. Um, and we know from the friends and family and neighbours and so on that we don't hear a lot about it. We did ask some about it and they said, no, I don't really know. They sort of, most of them sort of had a bit of an idea that it's, it's people hurting other people or people being cruel to other people, but 
there wasn't a lot of examples forthcoming. So whether that's because people just see that sort of behaviour as being not a problem or as being normal, or whether they just don't see it. Because in fairness, the other side of what we, the other thing that we do see too, is really kind, compassionate relationships between senpai and koi. Here we do see that a lot as well. You know, older kids really looking after younger kids really well. And the schools use that a lot. They match up the older kids and the younger kids a lot. They get the older kids to look after the younger kids. And we see lots of examples of that being done really, really nicely and really, really compassionately. And that, that continues into the, or extends into the society here so that when we go to festivals and when we go to events like that where there's lots of people from the, from the local area there, the kids will often be spending time with their, their senpais and kohais and you see a lot of really heartwarming stuff really with the older kids looking after the younger kids you know you do see that quite a lot so so there's that too and that it's quite possible that for a lot of Japanese people that's their only experience of, of the, the senior junior thing so maybe they just never see bullying so anyway we continue to report and show you what we see and what we hear that's all we can do isn't it there it was more videos coming soon.